Oh, hey, how you doing guys? It's me again. Um, back at it. I know I've not done one of these videos in a very long time, but uh, there is reason as to why I am doing it. It's very interesting. I've not done an update or a video for quite a long time, especially after the rant I did. Uh, it was a very interesting rant. <laughs> But at least it, it got some head turning and some attention. So yeah, um, I still do not know where those students went or what happened. But I do have like some insider information which I'd not like to spell out, uh, especially on like this video because it's very sensitive information. But yeah, other than that, I'm good. I'm ready to go. I'm hyped for doing some videos. So yeah. So, um, as far as you know, you can tell from the title that there is a Rainbow Six Siege Kenyan Operator coming in the next one and a half months, probably one month. Um, and that's in the year four season four update. So the first thing I decided to uh, get some information on is the concepts of how the operator will look like. So yeah i bet you you want to see this because this is gonna be interesting um so yeah uh, here goes as you can see the first thing that actually comes up is uh, i don't know how to do this but anyway yeah uh yes it is of course my rainbow six c blah 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 yeah yeah and then of course my video where i announced it that was uh, in february uh, back then you can see that handsome face that's rapping and blah blah blahing all the time that was during the sixth invitation right? oh bro that was a long time ago so yeah so the one that i am looking for in particular is the ones on reddit so yeah we're gonna start with reddit first of all and i kind of saw some very <laughs> interesting um debates let me close this very interesting debates we were having with guys about what the kenyan op is supposed to look like so here goes the idea behind this defending operator so he's a defending operator his work is on defense i don't know about the idea of being a defender because um majority of the defense okay you may call it that uh, like a defender but like the anti-terrorist units in kenya most of them are attack based so if you're saying it's defense i don't know it sounds weird but it's pretty much for the game's sake so yeah the ubisoft will decide that anyway is counter anti-roaming gadgets like claymores and nomad traps within a proximity of nyoka so hold on um the player is called nyoka first of all this is like the most terrible name you can ever give an operator or even a person in particular i know i've heard of people called this but particularly not men not men for those of you who don't know nyoka means snake in swahili so i it pretty much makes sense to you but why 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 call him nyoka i'd, I'd rather like a muscular animal name but nyok nyok snake why would you call him a snake in the first place so yeah at least here before you even get to like the details i think that is like the worst name you could have called him so yeah i think mamba mamba sounds like a good name because a majority of mamba means crocodile or, alli or alligator i think yeah so that's in swahili mamba is a much better name um gsu first of all uh, gsu stands for general service unit these guys the work is just to do anything they're told anything like literally anything that's why they're called general service um if it if it comes to uh things like riots uh like they do so many things i do not think the name okay the unit that you're looking for for a rainbow six operator is gsu i think the best one that you are looking for and i did mention this of course in my first video is rex 
not Rex squad. Reke squad. So yeah, I believe that's how it's pronounced. Because Reke squad is like a it's like a military unit of the GSU, but they handle special issues and most of them being uh, internal security issues and uh, the ones they've been known to handle is anti-terrorism so yeah uh, that's what we know them for and they are the best the best the best electronic deceiver <laughs> okay um i don't think Okay, for if if you're looking for a guy whose name is Nyoka, 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 like a, a snake, the work of a snake is to deceive. So, if the gadget is an electronic deceiver, so yes. But the thing is, an an electronic deceiver that temporarily disables other electronic devices. Yeah, uh, I think Alicia, I can get your concept in mind. Like you had everything in place of how like Rainbow Six has its um various branched arms within how an operator is supposed to behave but <laughs> i think you just threw this all over the place yeah but it's a good idea but i we can get where you're going now first up this is uh, oh, okay so this electronic thing i we don't deal with electronics as much i think the one we the most the electronic we have one the most is a drone and that's it so yeah, we only have drones in particular, so yeah. So electronic receiver, this one, no. A drone on defense, that would be cool. That would be really cool. Um, yeah, but I, I, I don't know. I, I would prefer them on attack because practically that's what GSU do. You just enter the site, wreck people up, just like their name says, and just get out. That's how they do. Just like a boss, like a boss. That's it. Secondly, um, this gun here, Sterling submachine gun. This is Frost's gun. We do not use this. Reke Squad do not use this. Reke Squad use mostly, say, uh, you see, like the weapon here. I don't know what this weapon is called. I think I've forgotten the name. But this is Thermite's weapon. No, not Thermite. Thatcher. Thermite's uh, second uh, primary weapon. So it's either that, either Thatcher or Thermite's weapon. One of the two. Any is fine. So, yeah. The second one, the secondary, is the Mark 7. We don't even have a Mark 7 <laughs> in the first place. Um, I think I'd, I'd just count for a secondary as a pistol or something of the sort. So, yeah, that's what, like, they us as breaking squad use. We do not have anything close to, to shotguns, but if if they add that to the, the like the loadouts, I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Um, it is a good idea. Anyway, this is just my reactions and my opinions in particular. And then there's this guy that you put plushed on the poster. Um, this is a KDF officer. You've put a KDF officer on on a poster with a GSU uh, like yeah you get what I mean this is KDF but what you've written here is GSU KDF means Kenya Defense Forces K, uh, the KDF are the ones that uh, the army the unit of the army that has been sent to Somalia to go and uh, deal with um, the terrorism issues that are happening in Somalia pretty much that's it Indian attacker tripwire, Indian defender, African defender, vulture. The, okay, uh, use a Swahili name. Try, try me. Use a Swahili name, please. Uh, that's what us Kenyans uh, go by a lot. Like he will be our ambassador, hundred percent. The other thing also, don't make him shit, please. Don't make him shit. Make him a really good op. Um, yeah. as much as possible <laughs> yeah um, make him important to use in ranked matches trust me i'd be happy to use him in ranked matches that 100 percent so yeah other than that i think that is it i can't wait i can't wait for the Kenyan op to drop but also by the way also this is a message to ubisoft please 
do not drop the Kenyan or let me call it an, an African operator on the server we okay on 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 and I think you know where I'm going do not give us an operator without servers please do not that that will count as bribery and we wouldn't allow that so yeah um please we want servers man i keep playing at 230p every freaking time it's unbearable it's just unbearable like even last last season me reaching plat 3 with 230 ping that's beyond that's beyond me i i even wonder how like the guys at nibble esports like um these guys are esports pro players i are like in in south africa i just wonder how they get to diamond every time with 230 ping it's unbearable ubisoft please it's too much we can't we can't we can't so yes uh, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't if you have please click the bell to get notifications on when i upload so yeah with that guys thank you for watching until the next one peace and bless